It's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Thanks again for joining us. Our guest is Paul Krikorian. Paul is a member of the Los Angeles City Council. Sir, we thank you so much for joining us. Good to be with you, Brad. We Thanks. all miss our football. It's been, God, 10, 15 years, and there's discussion about bringing a stadium or opening a new stadium downtown Farmers Field. Um, a lot of kind of hoopla about it, but some of you are saying, well, let, let, let's take a break. Talk to me about why you want to say, let's take a break. Well, I was concerned uh, that there was too much of that hoopla and that people, uh, because of their excitement about the prospect of bringing the NFL back to Los Angeles, uh, were going to lose sight of the actual details of this proposal. Uh, in fact, there was much celebration about this proposal before a proposal was right. even on the table to be considered by the council. Um, so my point was, this is going to be a project for th that for the next half century is going to have dramatic effects on downtown. It could potentially have impacts on our general fund. Uh, it could have impacts on jobs development, better or worse. Are, are you convinced the NFL really does want to bring a team to Los Angeles? Um, I am skeptical right? Uh, because we've had many times when that's, that carrot has been dangled in front of Los Angeles and it hasn't happened in, in a good long time. Um, so I'm skeptical, uh, but this is also not the only game in town. There are other of stadium proposals uh, around, and so I, I think people are conflating the issue of bringing the NFL back with the Farmers Field proposal, and, and I just... I want to make sure that we're not rushing into this and losing sight of the very important env environmental, economic, jobs development, budgetary impacts that this could have. And what we're also hearing is in order for the new stadium to be a win-win, we need to have some serious convention business. And part of the stadium proposal is to revamp the convention center. Are you convinced that that will be successful to the extent that we will see new convention business and build the types of jobs we need? Well, I'm certainly not convinced yet because that hasn't been analyzed to, to any extent. Uh, we've only just recently formed the ad hoc committee and the council to mm -hmm. begin reviewing this. Um, as far as I'm concerned, we all need to take a deep breath, slow down, make sure that if this proposal is going to move forward, that it actually does serve the best interests of the people of Los Angeles and doesn't cost the taxpayers a dime. Well, let's talk about those two issues. The best interests of Angelinos, we focus on job creation. You mentioned it, most mention it. And it seems as if it's just assumed that if you build a stadium, there will be jobs. But some people do believe that there won't be new jobs. It will just be jobs that move from one venue to another. It won't be a net gain. How do we make sure that we do see a net gain? Well, certainly any project of this size encompasses a, a lot of construction, construction. Jobs for the short term. Sure. Uh, and, and, but that would be true whether we built the stadium in downtown Los Angeles or in City of Industry or anywhere else. It would be the same construction jobs doing the same work. Um, ongoing, the economic impact ongoing after the stadium is built, you're absolutely right. And we've seen that again and again throughout the country. Uh, when stadiums have been built with the prospect of having a huge economic impact, when in fact um, it, they tend to displace entertainment dollars that would be spent elsewhere. Right. Um, people have limited entertainment budgets. If they're buying football tickets, they're not going to the movies or uh, playing miniature golf or doing anything. We things. also know that the AEG group is looking to have the city float bonds, about $350 million worth, for some of these upgrades to the convention center uh, and matters like that. Why, do, why does the city need to float bonds? Why can't they do their own borrowing? It's a question that I've asked, and I, I don't have a, a satisfactory answer to that yet. Mm -hmm. um, and, and again, partly because the details of this proposal haven't even really been fleshed out. So um, that's very much an, an area that I'm going to be interested in asking about, because okay. at the end of the day, uh, football is important but it's not so important that the taxpayers should be on the hook to pay for it. His name is Paul Krikorian, a member of the Los Angeles City Council. I'm Brad Pomerantz, back to HLN.